Hello all, today I would like to show you how to perform SQL injection using SQL map and a really basic way to prevent it, more a really mandatory way to prevent it, which might not work in every case but it's really necessary if you're going to do anything with SQL in PHP. So first off, you'll see if the form is vulnerable. You, here you can see source code. The form action, so the form, it posts to processlogin.php and it sends username, password, you press submit button, really basic stuff. And here you can see you have an error message, which indicates that it might be vulnerable about 90% of the time. So, what will we do? In SQL map, you will send the URL, and as data, you will send the form data that you've sent. So, username is superman, password is the password, and submit is, and well, here goes the value of your submit button, which is submit query by default. So, what we're doing here, you also have to define method equals post. Here we'll check if the, we'll see the current user that is locked into the database uh, which is defined in your source code. And we'll see if the current user is a database admin. So let's run this command. And here you can see you have multiple injection points to it to be precise. And the way of injection string single. So we will just use the default one, which is zero. You can just press enter. Sorry, that's my Twitter right here. All right, so you can see it's root at localhost, yeah, and current user is database admin, it's true. So, what can we do now? Well, we can try to spawn an SQL shell, which will allow us to run queries, basically. So let's do that, see if it works. Again, we have the injection points, you just press enter. And here you have the SQL shell. Now, what can we do? Well, first off, let's go out of here. It's just good to know that you can get in the SQL shell. Um, first we'll have a small look at the options what you can do once you can inject. So, I would like to enumerate the database tables. Optional is D, so you can also define the database to enumerate. But I would like to enumerate the database tables because I'll assume that I don't know the database name. So let's run this, see what it gives us. You can press zero or just enter, doesn't matter. So now it's retrieving databases and all of its tables. 
But for now, this might take a while, so I'm going to pause till it's done. So I'll see you in a second. And here you see database test, one table, users. That's the database we need. So again, let's spawn our SQL shell. And now we can do select all from users. And here we go, it's retrieving the data. Just follow along the on-screen instructions. And you can see it's outputting it in ID, user, and pass format, which is mentioned here, ID, name, pass. Here you can see it again. So now we can log in using another username and password, for example, Batman, password Robin. So let's go back, Batman, Robin, submit, and you can see we're logged in. So now, a very basic way to prevent this is, well, here we have result uh, equals MySQL query, here goes the query. As you can see, it's not cleaned or anything, it's all just based on this single query. I went ahead and fixed this, so here, in the fixed version, you would take things a bit different and you would use MySQL real escape string. So I will define user here, it's post username, post password, just like I did before, but I did it in here. And I made query, used a sprintf function, made query, select all from users where name equals MySQL real escape string user, and pass equals MySQL real escape string password. And I run this query, which is much more safe. Just to demonstrate this, I will... Oops, for a second, I got off there. Anyways, now to demonstrate this, I will process it to login2.php and let's reload this. And you can see here, it's still going to the wrong one. Aha, didn't save it. Sorry. Reload it. View the page source. It goes to login2.php. Submit it. No more errors. And when we change it here, you can also see that the URL will not be vulnerable. And that's it for today. I hope you learned something. So, goodbye.